EventBridge attempts to deliver events to targets for up to 24 hours using exponential backoff. In the event rule page, you can define retry policy settings for each target. You can set a maximum age between 1 minute and 24 hours, or a lower number of retries than the default. Different targets can have different policies depending upon the needs of your workload. If the target resource continues to be unavailable, maybe because EventBridge does not have permission to send events to the resource, or the resource is throwing errors, the event is discarded after the maximum retry age or number of attempts. You can add resiliency to event delivery by using a dead letter queue. Instead of EventBridge discarding an event that cannot be delivered, it sends the event to this queue. To set this up, go to SQS and create a new standard queue. Back in the Targets page, select the new queue as the DLQ. You can also select a DLQ that's been configured in another AWS account. Now if EventBridge cannot deliver an event to a target, the event is sent to the DLQ as a last resort. The message delivered to the DLQ includes additional metadata such as the error code, error message, and target ARN. You can use this metadata to determine why the delivery failed. You can then create a Lambda function or other processing resource to handle these events. To learn more about using DLQs with EventBridge, see the blog post at s12d.com forward slash events dash eight. In many production workloads, it's best practice to ensure that DLQs are enabled for targets. There is no additional cost to configure and use beyond the SQS messaging cost. For more resources on learning about events, go to s12d.com forward slash about events.